Thomas Ramsey. Thomas Remsky in the blue, Jordan Garwood in the black. Thomas starts strong. High number combinations to start off with. Yeah, nice left the back right for a little bit. He's got caught there. Thomas putting pressure on earlier. Well timed me as well. Jordan already looks like he wants to shoot and take yeah, us to the ground. To close the distance. Some nice boxing from uh, Thomas to start. Nice knees as well. Good body shot. Shot again. That's it, right. He's timing that knee lovely to the body and to the head. Yeah, Thomas is definitely winning these early exchanges in the striking. Yeah, Jordan needs to do far more than just cover up. He's to circle out right shot. now, yeah. Having his back on the fence isn't going to do him any favours. Looks like that's where Thomas wants him. Yeah, Jordan's just waiting. He's waiting to be hit there. He needs to yeah. circle out. Nice knee in the right hand. Thomas doing a lovely job of uh, cutting off the cage. It's back Jordan right up onto the uh, onto the fence, not giving him any room to breathe. That's right, and uh, Jordan having some uh, success with those kicks. Definitely looks like the longer fighter if he could work behind the jab and the uh, and the low kicks. Might be able to keep Thomas away for a little while. That's what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to put his back on the fence and then just cover up. Yeah, he's just kind of waiting to be hit there. Yeah, it's giving Thomas those openings. Nice job to the body there. If you can follow up with the overhand after. Jordan trying to mix it up a little bit, throw some flashier kicks. He's being very patient. This is his time now. He's managed to uh, wrap Thomas up, see if he can get the takedown. He needs to keep Thomas nice. on the cage if he wants it. But lovely oh, hip throw. A lovely hip throw there. He's ending, he's in full mount. Thomas has got to work now. He, he showed some lovely boxing on the feet, but now he's really got to show his jiu-jitsu game. Yeah, the minute his head's pressed up against the cage, he doesn't want to be here for sure. He needs to start getting his escape going early. Yeah, he needs to uh, bring those elbows down, try and hip escape or bridge over. But there's no headshots on the ground, so we'll see what Jordan could do from this. He's managed to get a hook in. Yeah, big bridge, but gives Thomas up his back. Thomas again. His back goes to Mount Jordan. Thomas just hanging on a little bit at the minute. Yeah, he's just looking to defend. Jordan can happily uh, end the round here. Yeah, Jordan, he's, he's pushing the head down, but he's not he's not, shooting, he's not punching to the body or anything, so he's not really yeah. scored anything from that. 
just the position enough is uh, pretty decent for the, for, for the end of the round. It looked like he was definitely losing those boxing exchanges, but to get the takedown, get a mount, get the back, then go back to mount, you could really score that either way. It's interesting to see what his game plan is going to be for this round, because uh, as you just noted, he's definitely losing the, the stand-up exchanges. Yeah, um, I mean, mount and, the, uh, mount and full back mount are the two, two highest scoring positions in MMA. In the grappling competitions, those are the two highest scoring scoring positions in terms of points as well. So it's, it's really what the judges are looking for. I wouldn't say that Thomas did anything anything to, to, to really win the stand of that, that that defiantly, but mount and back mount for uh, for the grappling point of view is is pretty dominant. It's about as dominant as it gets. Jordan starts strong, the flick straight away, away, but a nice move from Thomas. He needs to try and be first this run and try and get his shots off. Yeah, if he could engage that grappling a little earlier. Some really crisp hands from Thomas. He's really good at uh, hooks and straight. He's got an eye poke there. Accidental, of course. Jordan's saying he needs a minute just to get his eyes back. Might be seeing a bit blurry at the minute. Just needs to clear the cobwebs a little bit. Gives it the all go to the referee. And then back off. Nice uppercut there from Jordan. And his corner caught him to go forward and he does. Yeah, nice left hook lines as well. Having a much more uh, joy from going forward. Yeah. He's got to be careful about getting countered. He's got a lovely counter left hook on him that side. Got Lucas nice. a couple of times. A little bit of blood coming out of the nose of Lucas now. Yeah, he's definitely getting flustered a little bit. If he keeps pressing forward like this. Yeah, Lucas is, uh, Lucas is getting caught more and more now as the fight goes on. And both guys are just starting to swing it out a bit now. Some lovely counter punch in there from Jordan. He's landed some really nice left hooks. And oh, he goes he for another judo trip. trip, but doesn't get it. He's looking for it again. For it again, gives up his back this time. A complete parallel to the first round where it looked like Thomas was winning the boxing and losing the grappling. Now it looks like he's uh, winning the grappling and losing the boxing. See what Jordan's got off his back here. He needs to sweep or get back to he his looks feet. Like he wants to try and doesn't want to give up. his back up. Although Thomas going for guillotine. Oh, oh nice and a right lovely hook. right hand on the break from Jordan. Thomas is looking like he's he's, he's slowing down. Oh, perfect, perfectly time for the takedown. I don't know if it's Thomas is a, a little bit hurt or a little bit tired, but he's definitely it looks like slowed he's slowed down. down a little bit. Yeah, he's definitely slowed down. Jordan looks like he's just getting stronger as well. Jordan wants to posture up, get that leg off the back of his neck. He does. Armbar, lining fast. I think fast. it's deep. I think he's just got his elbow uh, out doesn't, of it. Doesn't look phased. Jordan needs to just step over and he's out. He's out of it, lovely. Step straight over into mount, I believe. It's hard to see from my position. Jordan's see got what? some really uh, some really nice jets. His transition yeah, let's see really what he good. does from here now. Let's see him go for the finish, try and get a submission from here. Yeah, or at least uh, raining some body shots. That right hand's there for the uh, for the hook. And uh, referee feels the need to stand both men up. It's definitely a bit early for, um, for my yeah. life. He didn't, didn't even give uh, Jordan a chance to work, yeah, but I'd agree with that. But back to the feet and uh, looking both to slug it out again. Ever. Another shot attempt from Jordan. Thomas just throws him off. Oh, and there's a stomp. Jordan's waiting for Thomas to come in. Referee gets him up. A lovely round, really a uh, very competitive round for yeah, both Yeah, really, really close round, I definitely can't score that one. Yeah, really close. Both, men, both uh, guys are starting to look tired as well. Some good grappling exchanges and some great boxing. Some really good day boxing. For me now, this is uh, 
Jordan's confidence must be uh, must be skyrocketing right now because uh, yeah, he had a pretty bad first round, but he was landing lovely on Thomas there. Yeah, he came back strong in that one. Yeah, he landed some very good counter left hooks. He's managed to open up Thomas's nose as well. His, his confidence must be really going. He got a very easy double leg at one point as well. Me, Thomas looks like the uh, he looks like the pressure fighter. He looks like the um, the one that likes to go forward and be the aggressor. But when Jordan's being aggressive, it looks like he doesn't deal with it so well. See so how Jordan comes out this time. Yeah, Thomas just needs a bit of a better game off of his back foot. Yeah, I think Jordan senses it that um, if he if he takes him down, he can have a much more joy there. But you know, he's also enjoying the stand up as well. So I like to see yeah. him mix it up. Nice shot. And he came out. Right. Referee giving Jordan some time. I think that was a straight right. That was pretty low, man. That was straight into the box. Straight right to the nuts. Jordan looks composed though, he could be able to carry on. For something like that, you uh, should really be allowed to take as much time as you want. Had a while now. He, he looks fresh. Think he's good to go. Give a thumbs up there. Back off. Both men exchange early. Both guys are really going for it now. Thomas trying to back him up again. Thomas looks like he's got a bit of a second wind here. Looking a lot fresher. Jordan with a nice one too. Jordan's jab isn't really doing anything for him. There's been a few power raises and a few slips from Thomas. I think he needs to work around that left hook more. There it is. Near knee there from Thomas Scott. He's, he's very good at timing that knee. That counter left for me is what's, uh, what's working for Jordan. He's catching that counter left pretty much every time. Thomas has really lost that kind of uh, that big punching power he had in the first round. He's just kind of touching out the jab, touching out the right hand occasionally. He needs to go back to packing bombs like he was in the first round. Yeah, Jordan's not coming as forward as he was now in the second round. His, his corner's still calling for it, but I don't know if he's starting to tire a little bit, but he is starting to move his head off the cage a little bit more, which is yeah. something he wasn't doing in the first. For me, Jordan's he's, he's fighting longer now. He's using his reach a little better. Oi, I could send there from Jordan. Last round, definitely time to go for it. Let's see if he tries one of these trips again. Doesn't want to leave himself on one foot like that with his back on the fence. That's a takedown waiting to happen. Yeah, I don't think nice, Thomas wants yeah. to take down though. If he's, if he's content to keep it standing and, and try and land knees against the cage. A takedown can really be what takes us round for either man. Yeah, I feel it. I feel if, uh, if Jordan wants to win it, maybe the takedown could just sneak the round. Yeah, it looked like he was turning his hip there for the judo throw again, but decided against it. Jordan spent a lot of the round with his back on the fence. That's not going to look good for the judges. Yeah, he wants to take down. You can see him trying for it, but... He's fought technically, but he's not being the aggressor. He's looking for agility in top. Trying to sit down to get out of it. Yeah, it's like he's gone into a double leg. It's lovely take down here and lovely me as well. Yeah, really Thomas really looks for the take down now. Nice knee there from Jordan. Looks like Thomas is fading a little bit. Yeah, I don't think this is Thomas's game. I think. Nice got trip it. there. Hit on the way down. 
Jones needs to be a bit more Thomas aggressive Thomas trying to come forward. Oh, he's a head kick. kick. Very tough third fight. round to call there. Uh, for me, Jordan looked like the more technical one, but Thomas was certainly being the aggressor. Both guys showing loads of heart as well to get through that. Both guys at shots.